Hare Om friends, welcome to our next episode of the Bhagavad Gita video lesson. Let's take a slow deep breath. Hare Om Tatsum. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. This is episode number 57 called Getting Past the Ego and the Herd. H E R D. Getting past the ego and the herd. And we're moving to the 31st verse in the second chapter. I read it to you. Furthermore, reflecting on your inner nature and outer responsibilities, you will have no, you will find no reason to hesitate to go into battle. For Kshatriya, there is no greater good and to fight in a righteous war. So in this verse, Sri Krishna is changing tactics a bit. He's gradually coming down from the lofty heights of Vedantic philosophy to a level that the average person can understand and can relate to. He's been trying to din into Arjuna's mind the indestructibility of the true self, the Atman, and Arjuna is doing his best, like us, to, to grasp what's being said here. It's tricky to navigate the path of being fully human, to acknowledge our humanness, and at the same time to be striving to be fully spiritual to not be a, a physical mental being, to be consciousness. And to help us walk this tightrope, Krishna introduces his term Swadharma, which is usually translated as duty. Well, the duty can have a, a negative ring to it, the implication that it's some kind of chore that's foisted on us. We can say that Swadharma is our duty, but how did we get that duty? It's a duty that's come to us on the basis of karmas of the past that have, that have provided us with a very specific set of mental samskaras and a unique personality. And this distinct personality is called our Swabhava, our inner nature. When we're in touch with our Swabhava, we will recognize our Swadharma. We will feel that there's a particular and natural way for us to express our nature. And that expression of our nature both draws out our potential and brings the most good to the world. That expression of our nature both draws out our potential and brings the most good to the world. So Dharma is the one manifesting itself through our individual actions. So Dharma is the one manifesting itself through our individual actions. If we allow others to determine our Swadharma for us, or if we think we'll be happy by copying someone else, we're going to find that something is always missing in our life. It is only when we let go fully of external influences and pressures that we can uh, uncover what our Sodharma is. At the beginning of this chapter, Arjuna turns to Krishna for guidance as to what to do. And this is the soul turning to the higher self to reveal his Sodharma. He's getting past his ego. He's getting past the herd mentality to find his own inner truth. The homework assignment for this week could be, what are three things that you are naturally good at and enjoy doing? They bring some natural satisfaction in the doing, not the result, the very doing of it. Are there ways that you can expand on those three things? Thanks for joining. See you next week. Om Shanti.
शांति शांति